Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 6th of 2022 well, it is titled Milky Way Galaxy Doomed Collision with Andromeda Pending. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of two galaxies in the sky. And in fact, they are actual images, but put together in order to show what will happen in the future. Now let's label them both here just so we can see which everything is. And on the left, we see the Andromeda galaxy that is the nearest large spiral galaxy to our own. And on the right hand side, we do see our Milky Way galaxy that is the galaxy in which we reside. Now the Andromeda galaxy in the sky appears much much smaller than our Milky Way and that's because it is about two and a half million light years away. However studies show that it is on a collision course with our Milky Way. Now do we know exactly how well it'll hit? Not really. Could be a direct collision or it could be a slightly side swiping collision where just the halos will collide. Uh, but in any case, it is very likely that billions of years from now, these two galaxies will slowly merge into one. Now galaxy collisions take an incredibly long time because of the tremendous distances involved. It takes a long time to travel two and a half million light years. Were Andromeda traveling at the speed of light towards us, it would still take it two and a half million years to get here and for this collision to start. And of course, it's traveling at much less than the speed of light. So it will take it billions of years to get here. Or you can consider it since motion is relative, us getting to Andromeda. Now, as once they do begin to collide, the galaxies, the stars within them, actually don't collide together. Even though these galaxies look like big solid objects, they're actually mostly empty space. And even two galaxies coming together, all the, all the empty space, the stars will just pass right by each other, never colliding. So when this does happen, it is very unlikely that stars from each galaxy will collide together. However, their gravitational fields do interact and that is what we will see. And if you some distant astronomer looking at this billions of years from now would begin to see the galaxies become distorted and material pulled out of the galaxies by the gravitational field. So our galaxy and the Andromeda is both getting very distorted and would not look like the ordinary spiral galaxies we're used to looking at today. However, as time continued past that over billions of years more, they will eventually merge into one much larger galaxy and settle down and we would not know that there had been a collision in the past. And in fact, this has likely happened to both of these galaxies in the past. Galaxies today we see today built up through collisions of smaller galaxies in the past and have continually grown larger and larger. They can grow through cannibalization by taking smaller galaxies or by collisions and mergers of comparable size galaxies such as we discuss here. But the galaxies will grow larger through this and this is how we formed the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today and something that our own galaxy will experience on a very large scale billions of years from now. So that was our picture of the day for June 6th of 2022. It was titled Milky Way Galaxy Doomed Collision with Andromeda Pending. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.